Can I have your attention? <laughs> I'm going to be giving a speech to John, Eric, and Haley from the bottom of my heart. I started writing this, but I didn't get halfway down the paper, and I just couldn't put it into words. Guys, I've known John Eric my whole life. I remember being five years old and riding his big wheel down the steps of his old house and trying not to topple over. And through the years later in high school, I uh, really became really tight with him. And John Eric became my best friend. By my sophomore year in high school, and we've been inseparable ever since. from the man who always told me he would never get married. He would tell me blue in his face that he, he was never going to get married. Well, he is. And he couldn't be married to a better person. I haven't known Haley near about as long as I've known John Eric. I've only known Haley for a couple short years, but in those short amount of time, she has been one of the most welcoming people that you would ever encounter. Good evening, everyone. We are gathered here today in the sight of God, in the presence of friends and loved ones to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. And as today both of you are blessed with God's greatest of all gifts, the gift of abiding love and devotion between a man and a woman. Everyone here today and those that can't be with us wish you both all the joy, all the joy, all the happiness, and all the success that this world has to offer. And as you travel through life together, I urge you to remember that the true measure of success, the true avenue to joy and peace is found within the love that you hold in your heart. And I would ask that you hold the key to your heart very, very tightly, very closely. Proverbs 4.23 tells us that above all else, guard your heart for everything you do flows from it. It is love which brings, uh, brings you two here today. You know, the union of two hearts and two spirits. And it is love that will make this glorious union and it's love which will cause this union to endure. Hi, John. Hi, Haley. Take you, Haley. Take you, John. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. For richer, for poor. From this day on. John, do you promise to love, honor, obey, cherish, and protect her, forsaking all others as long as you both shall live? I do. Haley, do you promise to love, honor, obey, cherish, and protect him, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. John and Haley, with your promises to each other, the giving of these rings and the joining of your hands, and by the authority vested in me by the state of Louisiana and by God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Now pronounce them husband and wife. Married my best friend, and 
you got the one guy who said he would never marry to marry. I know he sees a lot in you more than anybody here, but I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, I see a lot in you as well. I love both of you, and I'm so happy for both of y'all today, and I'm honored to be part of your wedding party. So guys, from the bottom of my heart, and from the Lord God Almighty, congratulations.